And that's one made with Wisconsin cheese. So here with a potato and pear flan is the executive chef of the American Club, which is in Wisconsin, Reese Lewis. Thanks for coming in, Reese. Thank you, Bonnie. There is nothing better than Wisconsin cheese, is there? That's right. That's okay. Right. It, We're going to cook with it today. Now, what is this dish called? This is a potato pear flan with uh, Wisconsin Gruyere. And Gruyere. I have a couple, that Gruyere. Was a Gruyere. Okay. And we have a couple other cheeses uh, that I'm going to use in that as well. All right. And the, if you don't have these um, specific varieties, you can use other varieties as well. There's at least 250 types of Wisconsin cheese, so there's a lot hey. to choose from. And we can use any of them. You can use any of them. This All is right. like a real user-friendly recipe. And, and this is what, a side dish, or is this a main meal, or, or what kind of a dish is this? This is a, uh, it's a savory flan that we serve with uh, a meat or a roasted okay. uh, chicken, poultry item, game item. So it is, it is uh, served with an entree, so okay. it would be, would be a side dish. So what do we have? Okay. Well, let's go over the ingredients. I've got, uh, first of all, some, some pears here, and they're, they're peeled and sliced uh, on this side. This is, these are some potatoes we cooked ahead of time. I baked them, peeled them, and they're, they're chilled, so we sliced them so they, they hold together. Mm -hmm. uh, the cheeses, I have a, uh, this is a real nice one. This is um, a uh, smoked fontina. It has a nice, kind of nice. Mm, it, it, oh, nice. wow. Here, let me try this a little bit. It's the smoked flavor. So, oh, yeah. so do you get the smoked flavor then in the dish if you yes. use this kind of cheese? Yes, it kind of like uh, resembles uh, quiche Lorraine, you know, with that, mm -hmm. that bacon taste, but without the pork. Oh, it does Beautiful. have a bacon taste. It's That's beautiful. Great. Rich, real, real okay. sweet, creamy. Uh, I've got, uh, of course, uh, some, some grated uh, three-year-old uh, Wisconsin cheddar. Gives it that tart taste. Okay. And uh, this is our Gruyere. A real oh, nice. this is the Gruyere. Okay. Now, this is easy to find. All these cheeses oh, yeah. are easy to find, mm -hmm. aren't they? Mm -hmm. Oh, this is a stiff one. It's a little, more, little firmer. Mm -hmm. It has a nice nutty uh, texture to it. Wow. That's a good, a good melting cheese, and that's why we're using it in a dish. Great. Want to help me? You bet. Okay, let's go. <laughs> All right. Uh, what I need you to do, then, is take some eggs, and we're going to go... Um, just right. probably four or five eggs in this bowl. We you want me to do it with one hand, right? Oh, man. <laughs> well, <I've done> <laughs> okay. <laughs> <It's> natural. <laughs> yeah. Okay, and then uh, uh, we'll add some of this. Uh, uh, this is a half and half here. Uh, you can use milk. Uh, if you want, 2% mm -hmm. milk or, or whatever, heavy cream, depending on how much uh, richness you want in the dish. All right. And what comes next? Uh, well, uh, what comes next is I'm going to prepare the baking dish, mm -hmm. and cheese makes an excellent, uh, an excellent f flavoring agent for um, a variety of, of foods, beans, rice, pasta, mm -hmm. potatoes, uh, some of the more bland uh, substance type foods. Cheese has a tremendous um, uh, flavor uh, that it can impart in the foods. There are some cheeses that now they say are light cheese because we're always thinking about the fat and cheese. Can do they work as well in dishes like this? The lighter cheeses. Well, uh, I, I actually uh, right now use the best cheese I can find, okay. and uh, and then just eat the dish in moderation. Okay, so you forget know, about uh, the forget about just it. Go, eat it. Go with the good quality. <laughs> go with the good quality item. All right. Uh, it's my personal taste. Uh, okay, you've got that that blended. Mm -hmm. What we'll do then is I've got some nutmeg here. This is fresh ground nutmeg, and and it, it's truly fresh. You like to smell your stuff before. Oh, yeah, just, just, <laughs> All right. You know, it's just, just want to smell it. I mean, mm. that's so good. I'll put a little nutmeg in there, mm. not too much, because the flavor of the nutmeg will grow. Okay. It will get, get more intense. I've got a little salt and pepper, and I don't want too much, because yeah. the cheese does have uh, a little salt in it. Huh? Salt in, okay. uh, in it. Uh, some chives. We'll put a little uh, fresh cut chives in here, mm. and those will blend in nicely. Uh, you can use any herb, chive, uh, thyme, you know, basil, whatever rosemary. you feel like. Rosemary. Uh -huh. I love rosemary. Uh -huh. uh, so those herbs are all applicable. I've got some uh, garlic here, and we're just going to rub this dish with garlic. So that's fresh ground. Fresh chopped gar garlic and oil. Char Do we need to use the garlic? <laughs> um, you don't need to, but I, I find that it, it, you know, it adds a nice character to the dish. Okay. I've got the cooked potatoes. We're going to just layer them, layer them in the, in the baking dish, and. Uh, then, uh, if you want to help me, I've got yeah. some pears here. Why don't you just so do the, the pears? pears? Now, pears and potatoes seem like kind of an odd combination to me. I can't imagine what this is going to be like. Well, it's it's quite good. I used to do uh, apples and potato flan in, mm -hmm. in Europe, and uh, okay. so it was very popular there. So we could use Germany. apples if we can't find good pears. Absolutely. How about canned pears if, if pears aren't in season? They're too sweet. They're too sweet and okay. too soft. So you know, I wouldn't I wouldn't recommend that. All right. You use an apple. That would be fine. I've got. Uh, um, the uh, fontina, let's do another layer of potatoes, and you can then do the gruyere. I should go on top of the gruyere. Does it matter how we layer, which cheese no, comes first, or which cheese is next to each other? Not really. It depends on which one you want on top. And uh, we're going to leave the cheddar on top because it'll have a nice, uh, nice color when it's finished baking. It is interesting. This is sort of a white dish, isn't it? All the yeah. <laughs> the potatoes and the pears and the cheeses are all sort of the same mm -hmm. color. Okay. Ready? 
And I'll just put a little bit of cheddar. And if you would, then why don't you um, pour the, the uh, yeah, don't fill it all the way. We want okay. a little bit of this to show through. All right, and just kind of spread it around. Yeah, How's spread that? it. It'll, more? It'll, a little bit more. A little bit more. Okay. It'll it'll pull, uh, and if the the potatoes and pears do do show through a little bit, um, great. And it goes into what uh, kind of an oven? It goes into about a 350 degree oven, and it's better if you put a like a sheet pan underneath it or a cookie tray, so that if it does overflow, if you have mm -hmm. a, a very narrow dish, um, it doesn't spill in the bottom of the mm oven. Okay. And how long has it been in here? Oh, you're gonna help me. Thank That's you. Right. I'll get the oven. All right. We'll put this in here. How long does it stay in here? Uh, this this will bake. I usually do it for 30 minutes and then check it after that. All right. Maybe 10 or 15 more. Good. We've got Ooh, one here look. that's prepared. Nice. And what I can do then is you can serve it like this uh -huh. or um, Just you dig can cut in it. if you need to. In the hotel uh, environment, we, uh, we uh, cut the dish uh, so that it's freed and use it, a little cookie cutter oh. and then just cook, cut into it. Okay. Uh, this is... Now give it a nice... Nice look Gives on it a the nice, plate. nice, yeah. nice plate presentation, <laughs> and uh, we we'll do it on a cookie tray so it look has a that. nice plate presentation there. And, and that's we, okay. That's how we we'd serve it. Um, Where's my fork? Go around you, it with a sauce, okay. a, accompanied meat, whatever, whatever your dish. So is whatever gonna be. the meat mm -hmm. sauce is, we mm -hmm. use on this. And that would be it. And then this is okay to store for a couple of days if we don't use it all. You can reheat it uh, just um, e either in a slow oven or a microwave. Okay. Why don't you try it? Oh, I will. This is interesting. Wow. <laughs> Do you know, there are so many different flavors. It took me a moment because first there was the first there was the potato, and then there was the cheese, and then there was the pear. This is fascinating. It's very deep, and there's wow. a lot of le levels of flavor there. Thank you so much for bringing this in. That is fun, the pears and the potato. Well, okay, I'm going to try this at home. Thanks for bringing this in. And grab some paper and a pencil because the recipe's coming right up, and, of course, it'll be in the news newsletter, and we'll be back in just a minute. You want to join me? Sure.